why don't we change more effectively and faster? Why do corporate uh, change initi initiatives fail? And the reason is leadership. How many leadership books do you think are out there on Amazon.com? Any guess? A thousand? Thousands, like 10,000? Okay. 81,924. There are more leadership books out there than good leaders. And a hundred years ago, Max Weber, a sociologist, said the organizations that will survive and thrive will be those that foster acts of leadership throughout the system rather than assuming leaders only exist at the top. A hundred years ago, he said, ideas come from everywhere, where leaders are everywhere. And in this room, the room is full of leaders. Jack Welsh, I admire him greatly. If I had to run a company on three measures, those measures would be customer satisfaction, employee satisfaction, and cash flow. Two thirds are about people, and one third is about money. And the organizations that do wrong and are run in the wrong way are only run on numbers and not on people. And once you recognize that the customer is important, that the employee is important, more important than you run a better company and a more successful company. Jack in his book says, control your destiny. There's even a book on that subject. Second, face reality as it is, not as it was, or as, it, as you wish to be. And that's a big statement. Somebody once said that, um, a comedian said that, uh, Sometimes you have to take the bull by the tail and face the situation. And the reason I'm saying this is Kodak has not faced the reality that digital is going to eliminate print. And I totally understand how they felt because it feels threatening. I have been creating this Selling Power magazine 30 years ago. And then all of a sudden I saw the oncoming train. And I remember a conversation having lunch with Mark Benioff seven years ago, and he says, Gerhard, print is dead. I said, what? What are you seeing? We have, um, you know, 150,000 subscribers. He said, it's, it's going to disappear. The web is going to take over. Get with the program. You've got to change, and it's, it's hard, and we want to face reality, and, and do not uh, my saying is, people who hug illusions are going to be disappointed. Uh, you want to embrace reality. Be candid. Uh, it's obvious. Uh, lead, don't, don't, don't manage. Change before you have to. And here we are stuck. If you ha don't have a competitive advantage, don't compete. But uh, here's, the, here's the important point. This, and this is my, my close here. We started out with leadership. We started out with uh, talking about social media. We talked about accelerating everything. Uh, we talked about integrating people, process, and technology. And we all know we're in a chaotic situation. And we want to have a better system. We want to have a better sales organization. We want this high efficiency sales machine. And we cannot create it if we don't understand what it means to integrate. And integration starts with us. You cannot assemble all the pieces of the puzzle if you don't have the vision of what that puzzle looks like. And what I'm talking about is integrative leadership. Um, Warren Bennett said, becoming a leader is much the same thing as becoming an integrated human being. And what does that mean? What does an integrative human being look like? And essentially, I'm, I'm thinking of Patrick Sweeney because he really inspired me. Where is Patrick? Oh, in the back, yeah, okay. Integrative leaders continuously explore their inner life while passionately pursuing their business goals. You have to be a real person to, to be integrated. And you have to have an integrative conversation with a customer. Like, 
what we were talking about just a few minutes ago when you and I talked, you know, you gave me the, um, the sort of the, your blueprint for having a conversation with the customer. And you organized some questions around that. But at the same time, we want to be aware there are two things operating at the same time. One is logic, the other one is emotions. And we all need to listen to our gut and not just to our brain when it comes to a customer conversation. Yeah.